Hello, and welcome to Philip Brown's Computer Networking Lab. You're watching the instructional video called Hot Standby Router Protocol Load Sharing. In the previous video, we viewed a method that would allow two networking routers to traffic network packets redundantly. In other words, if the primary router failed, the backup router could take over. Consider a network where the hot standby router protocol is used in two distributed routers to provide a redundancy network address for access layer users. Only one of the two routers can become the hot standby router protocol router. This means that the other router remains in standby mode. All the users send their network traffic to the active router the standby router wastes time, energy, and useful bandwidth by sitting idle while waiting for the router failure to occur. We can use both physical routers by creating two virtual routers. Router A will use the IP address and MAC address of the first virtual router, and router B will do the same for the second virtual router. The DHPC server will give half of the computers the default gateway of 10.0.0.1 and the other half the value of 10.0.0.2 so roughly half the network traffic destined to leave the local subnet will go through router A and the other half through router B but suppose router A crashes and is unable to forward packets. Router B would then take the role of both virtual routers until the issue with router A is repaired. There is no way to low balance hot standby router protocol, but we can load share it. Here we're looking at the terminal window of router A. Let's take a look at the running configuration. We can see that there are two groups of hot standby routing protocol configured on it. Group 1, which has the IP address, priority, preempt, authentication, and tracking. And group 2, which also have IP address, priority, preempt, authentication, and tracking. Notice that both virtual routers have different IP addresses. And different priorities. Now let's look at the terminal window of router B and see what it has in this configuration. We see that group 1 also is configured similarly. It has the same IP address as router A, but a different priority number. So by default, router A has virtual router 1, and router B has virtual router 2. Now let's go back to router A and run a show standby command to look at its configuration. We can see with group 1 that the state is active on router A. We can see the IP address that is using authentication, it's able to preempt its priority and the interface that it tracks. And we can see a similar configuration for group 2. Now let's take a look at computer 1.
we are able to ping 1.1.1.1 which is on our internet router when we use the trace route we can see that it uses router A to forward the packet now let's look at the terminal window of computer 2 we are also able to ping 1.1.1.1 from this location and we can use traceroute to verify that it is using router B to forward the packet We have looked at a method of load sharing network traffic using hot standby router protocol. In the next video, we will look at another method for actually load balancing network traffic using GLBP or gateway load balancing protocol. I hope this video was informative and I thank you for viewing.